Hello, Zuko here, and I'm standing in front of my bookshelf once again. I'm hoping to start off booktube this year by doing a bookshelf tour. I don't have a specific way I organize things, it's kind of just what made sense to me, and my shelves are the Billy shelves from Ikea, just like pretty much everybody else's shelves. I thought now would be a great time to do a bookshelf tour as I am getting rid of a bunch of books, and I have just ordered a bunch of books. So expect a haul and an unhaul fairly soon. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, excuse the shaky camera because my tripod cannot reach this high and I have to hold it, but uh, before I show the books, I thought I would display the collector core boxes that are on top of my bookshelves. And over on the top of this shelf, we have my Harry Potter Pop Funko figures. All right, let's start with the first shelf. We have Autumn, The City, Purification, Disingeneration, and Aftermath in the Autumn series, all by David Moody. And then we have Hater, Dog Blood, and Them or Us in the Hater series, also by David Moody. We have Dead of Night by Jonathan Mayberry. And then we have Rotten Ruin, Dust and Decay, Flesh and Bone, and Fire and Ash by Jonathan Mayberry as well. We have Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, Dark Inside, and Rage Within by Gene Roberts, Rise Again by Ben Tripp, The Infects, which does not want to stand up on its own, by Sean Bodoyan? Bo- I don't know, I'm not gonna- I'm not- tell me how to pronounce this, please. And last but not least, we have my favorite zombie series, my well-loved paperback of The Enemy, The Enemy, The Dead, The Fear, The Sacrifice, which is signed, The Fallen, The Hunted, which as you can see by the sticker, is also signed, and The End, which again, is also signed, all by Charlie Higson. On this shelf I have Lockdown, Solitary, Death Sentence, Fugitives, and Execution from the Escape from Furnace series by Alexander Gordon Smith, I Hunt Killers, Game, and Blood of My Blood from the I Hunt Killers trilogy by Barry Liga, Crash and Burn by Michael Hassan, Scythe by Neil Shusterman, Unwind, Unholy, Unsold, Undivided, and Unbound by Neil Shusterman, Everlost, Everwild, and Ever Found from the Skinjacker trilogy by Neil Shusterman, and Scorpion Shards, The Thief of Souls, and Shattered Sky from the Star Shards Chronicles, also by, you guessed it, Neil Shusterman. Okay, moving on down, we have L. Frank Baum's 15 Books in One, the original Oz series, which includes The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, The Marvelous Land of Oz, Ozma of Oz, Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz, The Road to Oz, Emerald City of Oz, The Patchwork Girl of Oz, The Little Wizard Stories of Oz, TikTok of Oz, The Scarecrow of Oz, Rinky Tink in Oz, The Lost Princess of Oz, The Tin Woodman of Oz, The Magic of Oz, and Glinda of Oz. Roald Dahl's The Complete Adventures of Charlie and Mr. Willy Wonka, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and The Last Battle, all part of The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King, all by J.R.R. Tolkien from The Lord of the Rings series, A Wrinkle in Time, a Wind in the Door, A Swiftly Tilting Planet, Many Waters, and An Acceptable Time by Madeline Langle. Next we have The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass, all part of his Dark Material series by Philip Pullman, Howl's Moving Castle, House of Many Ways, and Castle in the Air by Diana Wayne Jones, The Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles by Julie Andrews Edwards, As You Wish, Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride by Carrie Ells, The Princess Bride by William Goldman, illustrated by Michael something I'm not going to even try to pronounce. My Dreadfully Old Copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, and Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm. Okay, so on to our next shelf. First we have The Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, illustrated by Chris Riddle, Coraline by Neil Gaiman, Stardust by Neil Gaiman, and The Graveyard Book, also by Neil Gaiman. Then I have The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer, which is signed, Yes, Please by Amy Poehler, which is also signed. Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematory by Caitlin Doty. Grace's Guide, The Art of Pretending to be a Grown-Up by Grace Helbig. The Amazing Book is Not on Fire by Dan Howell and Phil Lester. Binge by Tyler Oakley. And Buffering, Unshared Tales of Life Fully Loaded by Hannah Hart. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which is signed. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, inspired by an idea from Savon Dowd illustrated by Jim Kay, Paper Towns by John Green, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and Looking for Alaska by John Green, Harry Potter and the Terrible Fan Fiction, I mean Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by Jack Thorne, Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, and The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Moving on down to a shelf that I apparently forgot to dust while I was dusting earlier, we have The Serial Killer Whisperer by Pete Early, Ripper by Stefan Petruccia, The Hollow City by Dan Wells, I Am Not a Serial Killer, Mr. Monster, and I Don't Want to Kill You All Also by Dan Wells, Shades Children by Garth Nix, Crusher by Niall 
Leonard, The Eleventh Plague by Jeff Hirsch, Those That Wait, and What We Become, both by Jesse Carr, Monument 14, Sky on Fire, and Savage Drift, all by Emmy Laybourne, In the After, and In the End, both by Demetria Lunetta, Ashes, Shadows, and Monsters, all by Elsa J. Bick, No Safety in Numbers, No Easy Way Out, and No Dawn Without Darkness, all by Dana Lawrence, and lastly, Quarantine the Loners, Quarantine the Saints, and Quarantine the Burnouts, all by Lex Thomas. Lastly, we have my bottom shelf down here, which just has my DS stuff, a hardcover box set of The Chronicles of Narnia, another copy of The Complete Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm, and a giant shell. All right, starting off shelf number two, we have Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events. I'm going to be honest, I am short and they're high up and heavy, so I'm not going to try to maneuver them all down. But as you can see, I have all 13. The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Oster Academy, The Ersatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. Then we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, Library of Souls, and Tales of the Peculiar, all by Ransom Riggs. Then we have Asylum, Catacomb, Sanctum, Escape from Asylum, and The Asylum Novellas, all by Madeline Rue, After Alice by Gregory Maguire, The Looking Glass Wars, Seeing Red, and Arch Enemy, all part of the Looking Glass Wars series by Frank Better. Then we have the companion graphic novels of Hatter M, The Looking Glass Wars, Mad with Wonder, The Nature of Wonder, and The Zen of Wonder, all also by Frank Better. Moving on down, we have The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, and The Raven King, all part of The Raven Cycle. I know I'm missing book three, it drives me crazy. They are by Maggie Steve Fader, I think. Someone also... Please explain to me how to pronounce that. Then we have a nine-year-old can of tuna in a fancy pink box. Half Bad, Half Wild, and Half Lost by Sally Green. Zeros and Swarm by Scott Westerfield, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah Banacotti. Next we have Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardo. I also have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, also by Lee Bardo. A Darker Shade of Magic and Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The Rule of Three, Will to Survive, and Fight for Power, all by Eric Walters. Alrighty, moving on down. I just went through this whole shelf before realizing I wasn't filming. So let's try this again. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Four, Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant all by Veronica Roth. The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star all by Rick Yancey. I Am Number Four, The Power of Six, The Rise of Nine, The Fall of Five, The Revenge of Seven, and United as One by Pitticus Lore, The One Hundred, Day Twenty, and Homecoming all by Cass Morgan. And lastly, we have The Kill Order, The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure all by James Dashner. Once again, down to the next shelf. First, we have Artemis Fowl, The Arctic Incident, The Eternity Code, The Opal Deception, The Lost Colony, The Time Paradox, The Atlantis Complex, The Last Guardian, and The Artemis Fowl Files, all by Owen Colfer. I also have The Artemis Fowl Graphic Novels, Volume 1 and 2, adapted by Owen Colfer and Andrew Duncan, art by Giovanni Regano, color by Paolo Lamana. Then we have Tales of Beetle and the Bard, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, all by J.K. Rowling. Next we have The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, The Last Olympian, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus, all by Rick Riordan. Moving on down, we have Gone, Hunger, Plague, Lies, Fear, and Light, all by Michael Grant, The Alchemist, The Magician, The Sorceress, The Warlock, The Necromancer, and The Enchantress, all by Michael Scott, Ink Heart, Ink Spell, and Ink Death, all by Cornelia Funk, Switched, Torn, and Ascend, all by Amanda Hawking, and The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men, all by Patrick Ness. Down here we have My Dog the Paradox, Hyperbole and a Half, A Piggy Bank Shaped Like a Cat, a bunch of Tokyo Mew Mew manga, some Spice and Wolf and Wolf's Rain and Dead Man's Wonderland manga, my dog, who is right here now, and my Pokemon cards. Say hi to Sad Pug. Moving on to the last shelf, hooray! Okay, now we're on the first shelf of the final bookshelf. First, I have the House of Night series by Kristen and PC Cast. I'm not going to take them down because some of them are in a box and it's kind of a hassle. But we have Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, Untamed, Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, Destined, Hidden, Revealed, and Redeemed, Lenobia's Vow, Colonna's Fall, and Dragon's Oath, also by PC and Kristen Cass. I started reading House of Night after my Twilight phase, and I'm gonna be honest, I stopped reading after, like, Awakened, but I can't bear to part with them. Next we have 8th Grade Bites, 9th Grade Slays, 10th Grade Bleeds, 11th Grade Burns, and 12th Grade Kills, which all admittedly sound kind of embarrassing to read out loud as an adult, all from the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd by Heather Brewer. Next we have Cirque du Freak, 
The Vampire's Assistant, Tunnels of Blood, Vampire Mountain, Trials of Death, The Vampire Prince, Hunters of the Dusk, Allies of the Night, Killers of the Dawn, The Lake of Souls, Lord of the Shadows, and Sons of Destiny, all by Darren Sean, part of the saga of Darren Sean. And finally, we have Wicked Witch and Curse, Wicked Legacy and Spellbound, and Wicked Resurrection by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vig... Vigu? Someone tell me how to pronounce that too. Now onto the next shelf, which is mostly vampire books. We have Night World Volume 1, Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, and Spellbinder. Night World Volume 2, Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. And Night World Volume 3 with Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight, all by L.J. Smith. Next we have Suck It Up by Brian Meal, Twilight Special 10th Anniversary Edition. This is not a trashy vampire romance novel, aka. It's a very beat up copy of Twilight. New Moon. My copy of Eclipse, which has seen better days. The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. And Breaking Dawn, which has also definitely seen better days, all by Stephanie Meyer. Then we have Welcome to Bordertown, New Stories and Poems of the Borderlands by, by Cassandra Clare, Charles DeLint, Cory Doctorow, Neil Gaiman, Annette Curtis-Klaus, Will Shelterly, Janie Lee Simmern, Catherine M. Valente, and many more. And the Five Nights at Freddy's Companion novel, because I got curious. The Silver Eyes by, by Scott Cawthon and Kira Breed Risley. Now we have The Maze of Bones by Rick Riordan, One False Note by Gordon Corman, The Sword Thief by Peter Laringis, Beyond the Grave by Jude Watson, The Black Circle by Patrick Carman, In Too Deep by Jude Watson, The Viper's Nest by Peter Laringis, The Emperor's Code by Gordon Corman, Storm Morning by Linda Sue Park, Into the Gauntlet by Margaret Peterson Haddix, and Vespers Rising by Rick Riordan, Peter Laringis, Gordon Corman, and Jude Watson. All of the first 11 books in the 39 Clue series. Then we've got The Medusa Plot by Gordon Corman, A King's Ransom by Jude Watson, and The Dead of Night by Peter Langus from the Cahill and Vesper series of The 39 Clues. Then we have Nicholas St. North and the Battle of the Nightmare King, Easter Bunnymond and the Warrior Eggs at the Earth's Core, and Toothiana, Queen of the Tooth Fairy Army by William Joyce, The Blackthorn Key by Kevin Sands, Prince of Neither Here Nor There by Sean Cullen, and The Prince of Two Tribes by Sean Cullen. Down we go on this shelf. First we have Aragon, Eldest, and Brisinger, all by Christopher Poloni, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons, all by George R. R. Martin, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, The Demon King, The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne, and The Crimson Crown, all by Cinda Williams Chima, and Princess Ben. And we're down to the last shelf of books. First we have Tweak, Growing Up on Methamphetamines by Nick Sheff, We All Fall Down, Living with Addiction by Nick Sheff, Go Ask Alice by Anonymous, Cracked by K.M. Walton, The School for Dangerous Girls by Elliot Schriefer, We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver, Airborne by Kenneth Opal, which is the only author I've met who has personally signed one of my books, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palinwick, East of Eden by John Steinbeck, The Red Necklace and the Silver Blade by Sally Gardner, When God Was a Rabbit by Sarah Winman, The First 15 Lies of Harry August by Claire North, Quinn's Christmas Wish by Lana Mackey, Distant Waves by Suzanne Wayne, Crash by Andy Mulligan, News from the Dead by Mary Hooper, The Gospel of Loki by Joanne M. Harris, Ancestor by Scott Siegler, and The Girl Who Was Saturday Night by Heather O'Neill. So down here we have all of my console games, most of which I haven't played. Do you see a trend here? I buy a lot of things, don't really use them. Um, but yeah, there we go. We are done. So yeah, that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you got something out of it. Maybe you just like looking at pretty books. Maybe you saw a book that was so pretty that now you want to buy it. I know I do that when I look at people's bookshelves, admittedly, which is a problem because I've only read about 80 of these books and there are a lot more than 80 left to read. So I'm going to continue buying books, but I have books in a box over there that I am getting rid of. I have books in the mail because I can't help myself. I will see you whenever I do my next video. The next bookish videos should be an on Holland Hall. Or you are free to check out any of my covers. There are a lot of them, so you could catch up with that. I will see you in my next video. Bye! I just want you all to know that this is how I am filming the top shelves because my tripod isn't tall enough. I have to put it on my office chair.